How you doing? This is Mitch with the Native Survival School. Today we're going to make a primitive crab pot. Stay tuned. And I'm going to end up using these as well as other things like vines. But you just cut off the little branches. They're good for weaving. So I'm just doing a simple weaving method. Inside and out, alternating. Just going slow, working with the materials so it has less chance of breaking while I'm using it. saying that he hasn't seen this done in a long time. <laughs> They've seen it all, man. They remember it all. So simply all I've done is just hammered nine sticks into the ground. You want an odd number. So as you weave, you end up um, alternating, not ending at the exact same place. Because it's an opposite number when you come to the same location one time you'll be going on the inside next time around you'll be going on the outside of the same piece it's very very simple and I just stuck them in the ground <clears throat> and the cavity in the middle uh, is important to get to get exactly how you want um, so because this is a crab trap I'm making the funnel at the top I'm making it roughly about the size for a crab. You know, having a trap like this it's incredibly important for survival and for long-term living because <clears throat> it's catching food for you while you're doing other things of course so it's a great way to conserve calories catch calories for free basically because after your initial investment of building the trap then all you have to do is work it Put it where it belongs, bait it, things like that. Maintain it if it gets broken. But it'll just keep working for you for a long, long time. I'm a big fan of what I call autopilot. Autopilot survival, autopilot living. And it's having a ton of traps, or whatever the case is, and everything's on autopilot. It's just running all by itself. Just using whatever I can find. Vines. Sticks off of branches. Whatever.
I just go back a spoke by end on this spoke, then I go back one spoke on my next piece. I'm making this crab trap by weaving a vine. Vine. Yeah. Vine. Through these spokes that I. Yeah, these are the same vines that I collected near dance class. That's right. Hey, look at what I found. It's Casey's sweetest part. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, though you found the flower part to the wood saw? Yeah. Awesome, that is the best part, yeah. Yeah, wood saw. Excellent. I can have this one. Yeah? Thank you for giving me some wood saw. Come here. Can you come in? Thank you. Dad, this makes a crab shot yet? All right, so here's the body of my crab trap. Yep, it's coming along, sweetheart. Is it almost finished? Good size. I just need to work on making a bottom for it now. Okay, so I just laid sticks across. And then I just crossed that again. Stripping off the bark.
So I stripped the bark off of that. Can I try some of that? Sure, honey. I'm going to fold it in half. I'm going to make X's over and under all of these. So fast, fast. Yep, so all I'm doing is going one over, one under. I just took the cordage and just folded it in half. And then I just make X's in between every time. Make an X, one goes over, one goes under. When it starts getting a bit small, just tie it on. Just using a square knot. Gets the job done. Find a plant that you can strip easy. It's easy to get a lot of rope pretty quick. Good quick rope. There's another one down. There's another one. Thank you. Okay. I'm gonna find things for you crab traps. Yes, you are. Yep. Yes. I make them. One. Sometimes I help with you. Yeah, you're a great helper. Thank you. Thanks. I'm helping you. Thank you, sweetheart. There's other one for the big twigs. Here's one, the other one. Excellent. There's other big one for your big twig. Thank you. You want to go here, tie it. Tie it for your branch. All the pieces I need. All I have to do is just keep weaving. Mm -hmm. 
How could that there for you? Find out what you want now. No, I don't need any more, hon. Thank you, though. Why? Because I have all the sticks I need for the bottom. See how I'm just weaving around them? Yeah. Using the bark of trees? Yes. And the rope. I really want to help you. And you're doing a great job helping, huh? But you're my favorite helper. Then after they go in, the door's going to close behind them? Yes. Nice. Good trap, huh? Yeah. And then we lock them like this. We take that there. And open off them. Mm-hmm. I love that you're designing traps. See? And then, and then we cook them. And we cook them, yeah. That'd be a great trap, huh? It's a great trap. And then we do other over knots. So see? And there you go. And there's your other shot. See? Awesome. Yeah, the Thank trap. you. Yeah? And the other trap. Now, this reminds me of a, a little crab trap. You can have babies in there. Baby crab trap. Baby crab, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. See how it's coming? I'm going to keep doing that until it fills up the bottom. It'll be the bottom of the trap. Hmm. It looks like a steering wheel. Yeah, it does. It does look like a steering wheel, yeah. Yeah, it really does. Maybe that's one way that you can make a steering wheel for a boat, huh? Some sticks lashed together. Yeah! That's cool. That's where it's at right now. I'm going to keep at it get back with you. Can I have this for my big fire? Sure. This big weed. Mm-hmm. Yes. As you start getting towards the outside, Start using bigger material. You don't have to just use the bark. Just tied a clove hitch right there. I'm gonna just do over under. Go all the way around. Awesome. See you, see you and me. Two for you and me. Excellent. Because we're two out here. Thank you for bringing me a banana. Uh -huh. Good. That's really good. And if we still hungry, we have the wood sorrel. Here. Yep. Thank you. If you're still hungry, we'll eat some wood sorrel. Good idea. It's important to do whatever the opposite of the path you had before. If I started here and I went over, the next time I'm going to just go under. That way I have an alternating pattern. You hear the thunder? Yeah. Gonna get a thunderstorm pretty soon. This one, Dad. Thank you. That'll probably be the last one I need. Thanks a lot, sweetheart.
Feel the wind? Here comes the storm. Yeah. Why, what is coming for? That's the storm front. All right, let's go check it on the trap. That is going to be the bottom of my trap. Now what I'm going to do is lash it to three, and the rest I'm going to leave open so it's like a hinge. So I can open it, so I'll be able, it does look like a basket, so I'll be able to take it off, and it'll still be tied to a couple, and then I'll be able to reach out, uh, reach inside and grab the crabs and it'll be a lot easier that way if I can make the bottom removable. That's a fun to make, huh? Alright. I'm still making mine. Yeah. You're very good at knots. Thanks. Thanks for helping me with the knots. Alright, that's two that are attached. I'm gonna double up the reinforcement on them. Now it comes out to two, three! <laughs> that's right. I make good crab traps with you. You absolutely do, yeah. Thank it's you. fun to make crab traps. Absolutely, it's even better when we feed you crabs, huh? <laughs> yeah. We'll be catching crabs in no time. <laughs> Why? Hope so. That's the idea. There we go. That's locked on there. Mm. Working on your knots? Yep. Awesome. I'm trying to make a different kind of one. Yeah. 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 Okay. Trying to do a square knot or an overhand knot, excellent. No, uh, over ballerina knot. No, <laughs> over ballerina knot, okay. Uh-huh. This is how you do it. In fact, a ballerina knot, you wrap this around. Do this. And do that. And make sure. And then you pull on it, and the extra piece comes off, and it's all done. No? And then this comes out. <laughs> and then you put that inside. Beautiful. Alright, let's check this trap out. Yeah. And then it's done. That's very heavy. It's on the trap. I <laughs> took the, uh, the sod with it. Okay, so here we have the old primitive crab pot. <clears throat> Put a bunch of bait inside. Crabs jump right in. They can't get out. It's angled. So it's like a like a volcano. As you can see, the top is narrower than the bottom. <clears throat> Depending on the size of the crab, but I can hold probably five or six in there, maybe. Definitely four, no problem. It's a pretty big trap. So they jump in, and they can't get out. That's the crab trap. This is the pot design. So that's a crab pot. Yeah. Wow, oh, there they go. And there they are. Lots of Canadian geese, huh? Bye. Probably about 24, 25 of them. Wow. Beautiful, huh? I see. One, two, three. All right, so here it is. It's got legs, so I can sink it into the bottom of the ocean. Has a bottom that I can take off pretty easily. It just lashed a couple places. It's lashed in like three, four places. Just undo the lashing and open it right up so I can grab the crabs inside. Now we're at the top. 
than it is the bottom. You know, bait it with uh, fish, throw with you know, throw some clams in there, mollusks, bivalves, things like that, just shellfish, all sorts of things like that, dead fish, innards, and they'll come running. Well, this has been Mitch from the Native Survival School. Appreciate your views, your comments, your support. See you in the next one. Take care.